Boom shots. Don't know the extermination family. Remus, you don't know. Big up on yourself. They can't keep a champion down. Always split a wonder when they want you to from. Boom shot. Solid as a rock. They just can't stop you now. Boom shot. Big up yourself. Watch out, boom shot, you tell him to tell us a make the wait and murmur now. So this one you're sure shot if you can't stop. Boom shot! Boom shot. This one is a hit. Praise is down. Elie Para King of King. This is a boom shot. Like that is a stage in Jamaica. This brother is known as the Pied Piper of cultural lyrics. Fresh on the scene, but he's rugged and mean. Coming out of the exterminator crew with such hits as Praise E. Ja. Let's hear it for Sizzler! Check it out! I did the old! Until your problem was cast down, yeah! What's when you're done? Judgment! Anyway! Praise Well, just like a Sumba, I did not got time to need that. I read up for ya, but got to them. And no more come and saw my blues and death. Sister, come here, don't we call on your dress. Yeah, I think yeah. we need to forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, give thanks, give thanks. Yeah. No, this was at my door. This was, this was in, I was just engulfing this. This was at my yard, you know. My father used to sell records from his house, too, you know. I used to, I used to like, especially on the holidays when my mother is going to pick up the records. There's so much records that they're pressing. That's what she have her sons for. Going to take up the boxes, <laughs> put them in the trunk, you know. So that would be a journey. Like there were so many, so many faculties of it that right. I, that I was just really there. That I can, you can't really tell me about it. And there are some parts of it that I was just an observer, real close observer, you know. But because I'm, a, I was a child. My, 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 my experience would probably be different from an elder that was there. I was doing a lot of co-production for Exterminator and, you know, Fatis wanted me in the blend, so I was able to do that. Well, Fatis was looked upon as a rude boy. Kazim is a rude boy. But he was so genuine, it was unbelievable. If Fatis liked you, he liked you. A lot of people might not see it that way, but you know, like my father would always say there is there's no <laughs> me in the music, but there's a us in the music. You know what I mean? So you should try and think about it like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean I mean there are things like a band is a group of people, it's like a band of people. You know, everybody coming together to do something, so you know. It is, well, it, is a, it is a togetherness thing, yeah, and, and, and they would really operate like that. Like, there are days that is not just music, it's just vibes, you know? His artists were involved in picking, like there's this mango tree at the yard, we did a, like a bamboo bench, then we'd go around and smoke chalice and it's so easy, and music will play, and they're like, they'd be like, this one, father, you know? This, you know, them, you know and he would say, yeah, you know, like, you know what I mean? This artists still... When them go around fatties, them just, I don't know. He's already demand something, man. Like, they just know that you're going to go and utter something more positive, you know? Try and uplift somebody. I really am attached to my father's catalog, attached to my father, extent, you know, by extension, you know? But, yeah, so, like, it's a joy for, to go through it. I had opportunities, to be honest. Throughout my time, throughout you know this Iowa, even when he was alive, you know he was doing it before, and we had you know there were certain things that were happening. But 
I probably didn't see it at that time, to be honest. You know, you know, young youth <laughs> type of vibe, you know. But you know, the more and more I got into it, I was like, whoa. I worked on the songs and I'm coming and I'm listening and I'm it's all right. And then it's like him movie in the whole of the tapes. And him say, get to work. <laughs> the whole exterminator experience was something to behold, you know. We, we moved from just being ordinary to extraordinary, you know. We, we did things that were just eye-openers. I remember we started out with Firehouse Crew and nobody really knew what to do for live, you know. Everybody were studio musicians and we actually rehearsed for almost two years. And, and, and the singers, you know, I, I had to sit down and teach them and, you know, unfortunately two of them died, you know, God bless them soul. Altia and Connie, Altia, Lynn, um, Hamilton and Connie Campbell, you know, they both left us. But I struggled along with keyboards, guitars, you know, and thing until we developed such a great sound that when Luciana was ready, we were ready. And when Sizzler was ready, we were ready. Well, then, who they know me, so the best. It was a great family vibe, and it was just great music. First time Philip Patrick Burrell sent was Sizzler. And say, Sizzler, I think that I got some work for you to do. I've got lots of rhythm. I say, Yeah, well, I want for this. And that you say, Holy for music. Yeah, and Mr. D. Fraser, 809 band. You know what I mean? I can tell you the process. Like, most times, like the dots would have like a rhythm come today, and then that rhythm, that same rhythm, the next time I hear that rhythm, and the next that, there are some overdubs on it with a vocal on it. And by the next time I hear that possibility, these things could happen in the same time interchangeably, like the overdubs and the background vocals happen at the same time. So like I would see the, hear the process of the song, you know what I mean? And like, oh yeah, mad. We would go every day, we make nice round there, rhythm of a roll as we come in and sweep up the place, sound system of turn on. And we'll be singing, so whenever time I'm not in school, I'm in the studio. So I'll be like at the studio doing my homework at the studio while writing. So this page I would do my, be doing my homework and the next page I would like writing a song. And that's just how it is. But to be honest, I know for a fact that my dad just loves youth. You see me? Like if, especially youths with um the drive and you know, certain exuberance, you know, him love that. That just get him, you know, like yo <laughs> you know. So and Uncle Miguel really have that vibe, more like from, I know him from, from my knee was high. You know? <laughs> like, he's not really like my blood uncle, but he, he's like, he's like the godfather to one of my sisters. Wow. So there was this time, like, I know, I know him from a young man growing oh, up yeah. into a man, you see me, and I did, I watched that transition and admired it, you know, even, you know, as much as I admired my, I admire my father a lot more still, but you know, but watching watching him was a, his growth was, was a thing. Like, you know, certain utterances he would make. Like uh, my father would come home with um some dots and I was like, yo, Reams, go play that one for me. And then I hear him mixes for the day. And I would hear some things and I was like, yo, you know, I probably should check myself, you know. Like, you know, he has this song like by the name like Why Boast. Like the first time I heard that. I had to get a copy for myself and just listen to it like every day. You know, like the words were just so, you know, like he was just speaking to me, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Exterminator, exterminating the evil and the slave master who had slaved the black people and all people. 
righteousness. So from then, this is where it took me. Music is free, music is love, you know? Music is a universal language to share and care, so I don't see why I should be closing my door. Fatis didn't close the door. Gossi Clark didn't close the door on me. Bobby Digital, Louis Culture took me to Bobby Digital. You know I mean, Louis never closed the door, Louis Culture didn't close the door. Why should she never close the door on kids? You know I mean, yeah, this is just about righteousness. Bobo Hill doors never closed. Naya Bingi never closed. Rasta Mandur never closed. I see a little guy pull up a bit, but it's not closed. It's open. It's your duty to be a priest, come and study. Whether you want to say Bingi, Bobo, anything, it's all Rastafari. There must be praising Rastafari. So you're supposed to be free to go to any one of these mansions for His Majesty. And these people there must treat in the in the royal car. So from there, till now, the people supported Sisla. They came to the show in droves, you know what I mean? Lots of people coming to Sisla shows. One of the greatest artists to ever do it from Jamaica, they asked me, Sisla Kalanji. The way I approach music and the way I deal with them things is unlike the regular artists. You can't deny that about Sisla. Sisla is a resounding individual, like, man. like I, I can't tell you how, why, what, you know, but I know him himself put a lot of time in himself. I know it took a lot of reading, you know what I mean, a lot of studying, a lot of practicing, like, this guy is from martial arts to... I watch a whole heap of people just dress, look, everything like Sizzler. I was like, wait, <laughs> because I know that like, that's not Sizzler, <laughs> you know what I mean? But a whole heap of people, it, they change uh, the talk, everything, you know, like... Yeah. As a little youth, when Praise is your album come out, Sisla's a big brother for me in the music, so I'm, you know, a little bit older and been in the music before me. I remember listening to the music, listening to the album, and just saying, wow, this is better here deep. He might talk some things that we never hear before, especially from my young man, you know? And style is just so unique. Never hear anything like it. So this album is a very beautiful album and it's um, the genesis of my career. My first album was really um, right. earning money. But that was just like a start, like a pilot project. You know, the Dr. Dre, the yeah. rest record, rest records, you know. So the second one now was um, Praise His Job. Very beautiful album, you know, we love His Majesty. We love Rastafari because we're Rastafari. Yeah, so. That's it, you know what I mean? I want to say um, thanks to the people who have supported the album. So praise is Ja, Palala Shadia. Praise is Palal, Ja, Shadia. Praise is Ja, you know, Yahawaha in the Hebrew language, in the Hebrew sense. So that album it, 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 um, speaks volume because that's the direct messages I um, wanted to um, go out to the people concerning the amount of songs on the album, you know, one express ourselves was giving all our praise to the Almighty, seated upon the throne, coming from lion, and still reaching out to the homeless kids, and still showing you that God is running up and down with the guns, like it's a Western cowboy world, you know, but tomorrow we can see, you know what I'm saying? So we use the music to pave the way and to shine the light for people to express ourselves, not just for the spiritual sense. We can use the music for advertisement, for music is one of the items that moves the economy, you know what I'm saying? We use it for advertisement, we use it for business promotions, Use it to bring forth income so we can best stabilize the family. Yeah, a remastered version. Yeah, so again, that was, you know, running off the tapes, you know, that tapes and 24 track tapes and found most of these tracks. So I did a remastered version to honor the anniversary as, you know, both Sizzler and Fatih's work, which I think is just a res you know, something that resonated throughout those 25 years a lot of people life changed you know um from listening to the, that album one of the only jobs i had as a youth was working in a record store so i actually did the whole praises your album in my hand and played for that turn table and i didn't even sell somebody record them you know so that was cool but definitely it's definitely a breakthrough cultural album and it really changed the sound of music to be honest becomes a phrase very instrumental in that 
and all the musicians and even today's music a lot of the nowadays music that you hear especially roots music definitely take a page or two out of Sizzla book and out of that album praises ja. people that knew very well what to um, expect yeah because um, they've been taught from Bob Marley Peter Tosh Jacob Miller Alta Nellis Dennis Brown you know what I mean Gone in silk, you know, they've been taught from the priest, from Zion, you know, Moses, Jeremiah, they've been taught, so they know what's happening. So it's just naturally a follow up of the duty of the black nation. Everyone will have to do something. So um, I'm aware in which I've contributed towards a whole cause of redemption. My blessing was to be a part of the music and seeing these engineers and artists working in studio life. Mm -hmm. Making live music, seeing Garnet Silk and Dennis Brown outside, burning a little herbs and sizzler. And then go, go get some water for me, Dada. Well, look how you're singing, you know, you know hearing the vocal tone of the great singers and leaders and messiahs of the earth. You can never say, yeah. This is real music, these are real people, and this must be done. Mm -hmm. And for our people being through the transatlantic slave trade, through the Haram slave trade, and through all the slave trades era, you know, um, it's now yeah. time for us to just stand and represent in full strength. You know, we need to stop worrying about what's going to happen. Here. We're not doing anything bad. And those who are hurting you, they're really adamant at hurting you. So you need to be vibrant at doing your stuff, be righteous, and stop thinking about that. Think about building Africa, building a country, building a community, because it's one planet. For months, residents have been calling for enhanced security measures in August Town St. Andrew to quell tensions between rival gangs who have been conducting a campaign of fear in the community. People can't sleep in the night. Every minute they hear somebody get shot. So this is a beautiful interview. You're at 40 August Town Road, Kingston, 7 East of Kingston. St. Anjo, Judgment Yard Music Video. Yeah, so. You don't see so many artists committed to their community yes, like that this. that is the, the main thing now. Not many art, and they sing about it, and they're not really doing it physically. They don't sing about it, and they help and say they're helping stuff, and but they're not doing it. Well, Here you can see, this is Sizzler, one of Sizzler's house. Okay. Well, it's too weird, you know? Yeah. But it's also a family house. All of us are family. Yeah, man, we wake up in paradise, man. You know? <laughs> Zion, you know? It's yeah, true. man. And it's still improving, same way to come. So, down the line, it's still going to be improving to leave my young kids coming up. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. So, yeah. so, years and years and years to come. All of are gone. This is still the year going on. I don't think people have a clue what's really going on here like the respect yeah, so levels we need people like you know to come and tell them what's going on you know and everything we put on social media said we you know but when people come and can see it for fuck and know say it did it and it's going on it's more better you know yeah, yeah man. when we say the most is not of the flesh it's not the limit truth and right it's the almighty to one living god of israel rastafara camp and lion travel judah he praised his majesty he's a king the king lives a royal life, therefore the people must be treated with the same. And you have a king and you have a queen. So now because you might be looking at the people, you are saying they're peasants, you see them in the dirt now. Nah. In the mud, you find the gold. Yeah, so the same treatment for the king, same treatment for the people. So it's natural, so this is where it's up. You keep the place clean, keep the place lively. We keep practicing, you know, study whatsoever um, black culture can study, study on the languages to the best of our ability. And we just keep it going, keep it fun, keep chanting. You know, and there, there are certain things that I really love about today, and there are certain things that I really love about what happened before me, you know. So I try to, to try and merge that, you know, try to bridge that gap, bring that together, you know, stick to my roots as well as just pushing it forward. So, you know. I must extend um, great respect to Karim Bolle, uh, carrying the, 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 the torch for Exterminator label, remastered the album. That's a good deal. That's something great, you know, following your father, 
it's a good step. You know, I mean, I'm still here to do the work because, as I say, it's one work from the beginning. It's love, it's unity, it drives love. You know, when there's nothing but love, and that's what we can do. We do music, and that's what we do best. Yeah, it's business. You know, so the music is lucrative. You can you gotta stand for something, or it's a far for nothing. So it's a business. So you make the money, you put the money to good use. But at the same time, it's a message business. Mm -hmm. you never lose the message. It's an enemy state. Wow. Wow. With crazy just on crazy rhythms and put new artists in that cars with the pressure box by Rasa and Gunkus. Yeah. It's like really crazy crazy rhythm. Spraga Spraga sing over Rasta when we work. Runkus, Spraga, um Rasa, Medicine, um Pressure Bus Pipe is on it, Protege is on it. Leela and Kabaka is on it. The great oh, singing singing guitarist, right? Because yeah. he shelled he, he shelled it. <laughs> like, like just watching singer do some dub because I you know, I get to I remember I was singer and watch singer do some, you know, dub play sometimes it's like whoa. What's the stars right with singing representing for the XTM Nation? Hey, watch I know Exterminate and I'm gonna grant them no bar. <laughs> Big bad sound exterminator. One and only yeah man, son boy dead quick and fast. Musical shot. Boom! Tyrus Riley tell you that no big up father fatties. Uncle Remus and the rugged youth. Sing it, sing it, passing through. What about sound there? Over your sir. Even some of the people who didn't make it on it, whether it's because I didn't get the special or you know. Everybody was just a just a joy, like, wow, you know what I mean? This did this for me and this changed my life. Like I remember this, and some of the songs is some interesting. Like inner them face, how them a flex, them tune they like these. You see me? And these aren't like the household songs of the album, but those are the, the hardcore songs that them did really check for. You know, Kabaka talk about it. Kabaka talk about how him rates his love. And you know, you know what I mean? Like him do hide it. You know what I mean? And a lot more. If you ever see it on me, that every one of them loves his love. You see me, especially that sizzler, <laughs> if you want to say that, you know? Yeah. Every one of them, you know what I mean? That was the inspirational moment, man. It's undeniable. That's beautiful. I want to give you the history of the mixtape. One of the first mixtape, first in Britain, um, bringing in mixtape was Caveman. Oh. And the Caveman was the first person to come up with a new mixtape. The sound system? Yeah, mixtape. So, it's a culture. You know, but it's a tradition, it becomes a culture. Who say it's a, it's a habit, it becomes a tradition, it becomes a culture. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean? So that's it. So the mixtape now, Praises Jar, very beautiful album. Give thanks for the support going the wide, you know what I mean? Kareem, um, Borel, Big Up Yourself, and now because you have managed to make um, the mixtape. Give respect, you know what I'm saying? I did Yo, Boomshot TV! Don't chat, pre Boom shot, crazy job, mixtape forward in soon. You don't know the vibe, it's Remus, XTM Nation, Guru, Fatis, T4000. Man has done respect. Well done to the no be so the best. That was another voice of the man called Rasa representing the exterminator sound. Fatis Remus, rugged youth, which is supreme. We don't know it there in either. Rastafari and bless, art of love, never shot of love. Almighty, no one no greater than the creator. My studio, you should work it out. Make a song or get out. It's a studio. So a studio is a university, not just to sing. Go practice drum, practice every little thing. 
life on a whole is a university, multiversity for us all. There is no need to be sitting down messing around. I don't hide. All the time I'm really idling is when I'm sleeping and that's now I'm recharging, rejuvenating. There is no time for me. The sun is beating my feet. I'm waiting on it to come on the mountain to go over my head now. It's farming and park. Cool. So you wait and so in the night you study. Nice of yourself. And then you come into the sun early morning, go have a bath. Perfume yourself or cologne of yourself. I'm pretty upset you're going to work. And when the sun comes out, then all what you learn began coming coming back. And you say, Oh, that's it. The end of the other speech, I can to make dry knowledge. Yeah? So for me, I'm always studying. There's no idle time for me. I always be finding something to do. Sometimes them boys around me, they be hiding me when I'm like coming down the steps because I don't play. Work must be done. And that's it for me. Well, one of our individual, but it's in the book. We have the book with the with those correct right? What's the name of the artist who's working? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever hear that story, Remus?